just switching off my heater. So, here we are on 19th of December 2013, and Merry Christmas! How's the year been? Well, I don't want to take too long. It's been brilliant! So apart from that, not a lot to say. <laughs> Do you know, isn't there? Oh, isn't there such a lot of, of um, anxiety, I suppose, put against Christmas? Who are you going to invite? Who are you not going to invite? Who are you going to upset? Who are you not going to upset? Do you know there are more separations and family breakups over the Christmas period than at any other time of the year? Because of the pressure that's put on financially, possibly by children that you want to buy them the best that you possibly can and you don't want to be feeling left down. The money that you want to be able to have so you can have a, a fantastic Christmas and show off to people. Why? I don't know. It's not that long ago that chicken in, in fact was a, was a luxury and now we take it as an everyday item. But we put so much pressure on. I just find the whole episode um, exasperating, for want of a better phrase. I don't know how you guys are, are doing with your Christmas celebrations, but mine, well, I always feel awkward at this time of the year because I live on my own. And that people think, or maybe they don't think, <laughs> poor Kev on his own. I'm not poor Kev. I live on my own because I enjoy living on my own. So whether I can do what I want to do, when I want to do, who I want to do it with, for as long as I want to do it with, and there's nobody going to try and change my personality. I've been there and I've done that and I ain't going to do it again. And I am cool with it. Absolutely 100% cool with it. So if nobody invites me for Christmas dinner, I'm not going to get upset. Because my Christmas starts when my boy, Sass, turns up on Boxing Day. Well, when I say turns up, I go and pick him up. And then we go off and we buy his Christmas present because there's no point in me buying something because he's not here on Christmas Day. And in fact, I think it was last year, almost certainly the year before, he didn't even ring me to say, Merry Christmas, Dad. He had the Christmas um, lecture, as he puts it now, when I picked him up. Ra 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 ra. But it's very important, especially with your children, that that's what it's all about. If there's brothers or sisters or uncles or aunties, it's the kids. That's what Christmas is all for. And if I sit here, drinking my juice, watching the TV, waiting for Boxing Day, bring it on. Because it's just another day in the year. Humbug, maybe. Humbug, so what? I do love Christmas and I love seeing the kids open the presents. But I, I, as I say, my, my day starts um, on the Boxing Day. But I'm really, I'm already looking forward to 2014, getting out there on my bike, filming areas, meeting people I haven't met yet, helping them get more bums in beds or feet through their door through the videos that I produce. I can't think of anything else that is more exciting than that. It bloody marvellous. I am so lucky. To be able to go and do that and make a living from it. I smile nearly every day when I'm on my bike. Let me reiterate that. I smile every day when I'm on my bike. Even if it's raining. I don't care. It's what I was born to do. So the year itself has been amazing 2013. We had one of the best summers we've had for years. And I maximised it. Opening up my biker jacket and my visor so that I could get the wind to blow through because it was that hot. How I never passed out through dehydration, I don't know. But it was brilliant. Absolutely bloody brilliant. And finished by filming the North Wales area, which I found stunning. Absolutely stunning. I hope you've enjoyed it too. And so, I hope next year is going to be equally as exciting. Whether I'll get across to Bosnia next year, because that was an exciting adventure in itself. Whether I get back there next year, I don't know. I may well be too busy. 
but I've had an invitation to go across to the Alps uh, <laughs> and be taken around there and to be shown the scenery. Well, for me to be able to do that, um, who knows what's going to happen. But my sponsor, which is Held Rider Equipment, um, Held Motorcycle Clothing and Equipment, I'm going across to their factory on the German-Austria border in January, all being well, to see how gloves are manufactured, specifically tailored to you. It'd be great to be able to film that process so you can see how that works. But I also heard that the same company, believe it or not, held, produced the BMW range of clothing and accessories. And there's something I bet you didn't know, and I certainly didn't. So as we work our way through December, trolling along to the Christmas Day, which isn't that far away. In fact, it's, it's uh, six days away. And then we fly across to New Year, and that's it, over and done with for another year. And then we bring on 2014, and God only knows what he's got planned for me, and the adventures he's got planned for me. I know what I've got written on my wall chart for my plans and my goals, but I've no idea what he's got laid out for me. And that's the amazing part about life, isn't it? The amazing part about life in that you don't know what's going to happen in the next five minutes. If your de every decision that you took was right, life would be boring. Because it's all about making decisions, having the ups, having the downs, having the successes, having the failures and learning from them, and moving forward the best that you know how. And on that note, I wish you all a tremendous Christmas and New Year, and looking forward to 2014 with a tremendous amount of excitement. God bless, Merry Christmas, and until the next time, Bye-bye for now.